Hi, today we will talk about the working principles of the automatic pump control device brand name Element. Our device is controlled by an electronic card. This device can control the pressure of the water in the system and also protect the pump engine to be damaged in case of there is no water in the tank, the city water is cut off or from any other unexpected reasons. The device can control the restart pressure of the pump between 1 bar and 4 bars. As you can see, there is an adjusting screw at the back side of the device. The pressure level of the restart can be increased by screwing the screw to the clockwise, I mean to the direction of silent plus, and can be decreased by unscrewing it to counterclockwise to the direction of silent minus. Now let's see how our device will be set for the first installation and go on. Uh, firstly, uh, we have two kinds of uh, devices. One is a vertical exit and the other one is a horizontal exit. And our pump is uh, energizing up to 6.5 bars. And uh, now first we have to check if the feeding valve is open. Yes, now it's open and the discharging valve is closed. It's closed now. When we give the first energy to our device, uh, it will cause the pump uh, to work until 6.5 bars and then it will stop. Now let's see it. Now we stop at the maximum pressure of the pump. When we open the exit valve, the pressure will go down to zero for the first time. Now the pressure in the system is zero bar because uh, the, the switch, the device didn't start. Because for the first installation, we deliver our uh, items with minimum uh, default settings. In order to start it again, we have to screw the screw at the back side to the right side a few times, a few cycles, and then it will start again. And now, the, our device is ready for daily use, but if you want to uh, adjust the pressure level of the start of the uh, device, we have to uh, screw the screw to the right side again in order to uh, increase it. For example, I will switch a little cycles more and I will open the exit valve, you will see the minimum pressure and then it will start again. As you see, this time our device started at around one and a half bar. If we want to increase the pressure up to two or three or up to maximum level four, we have to screw it more and more. Now, let's screw more. Now, I will open the tap, the pressure will go down to higher degrees, you will see now, and then the device will start again. The previous time the pressure, the minimum pressure was one and a half, and now it was two. If you want to decrease, we have to screw it more and more. This 
time you saw the pressure was three and then the device started again. Now, if you want to bring it closer to four, we have to screw more and more. Now, as I told you at the beginning, the maximum pressure of our device support can, uh, it was 4 bars. Now, our device is ready for daily use. Uh, another point I want to tell you is, if the screw is screwed more than 4 bars, uh, the device can lit up the failure LED here as LED. If, uh, if you want to make the LED off and uh, cancel the error, we have to unscrew, I mean to the left side, to the minus side, a few times, and then our device will start to, uh, uh, start to pump again. This is uh, all I can say about daily use of our device. Uh, another uh, important uh, specif specification of our device is, uh, for example, sometimes the sticky water is cut off or no water in the system, uh, it, uh, it, it automatically stops and prevents the engine, the pump engine to be damaged. For example, now this is closed and we, have, we will close the feeding pump and now we will But now I'm closing. It's trying if we saw that there was no water in the system and it tried for the first minute it tries in each five or six, six seconds to check if there is water in the system or not after first minute it will try in each 15 minutes if there is water in the system or not if the water comes after for example 15 minutes or 30 minutes our device will see it and start to pump again.